Right, are we on? A little bit lower, I think. That's better. Well, today I thought I'd do a little video just talking about the different tripods that I use, the reason I bought them, the different features, and the different situations I use them in. So as you can see here, I've got three different tripods. Each has its own application and different situation I use it in. So I'll talk you through each of the different models. Well, first up then is my main tripod, uh, which is the Manfrotto 055 XB. The XB uh, meaning it's the basic version. It doesn't have the central column that you can place horizontal at the top of the uh, legs. So this is my main tripod, my uh, landscape uh, go-to tripod. Um, I've had these tripods for many years. I think this is my third model in about 20 years. So they're really dependable and um, sturdy, not too expensive. So they're cheaper than perhaps a Gitzo model that a lot of people use. I wouldn't spend that much on a tripod. So it's got a lot of weight to it. It's an aluminium tripod, all metal. It's not the carbon fibre one. Um, I don't go for the carbon fibre, especially in the landscape, purely because you need to have the weight in the landscape. The carbon fibres are sturdy, but they're still lightweight. They're still going to be blown by a breeze. So I'd rather carry a heavier tripod that's going to be sturdy and can support the camera without having to hang a bag underneath, which you possibly do with a carbon fibre model. I really like the flip up clips on the, to release the legs. Um, I'm not a big fan of the twist grip, so I like that quick flip to put the legs into position really quickly. Now I use this with um, the small centre column uh, rather than the long one that it originally come with, purely because I don't want to be putting this central column up very high. That's the same with any tripod. You don't want to be putting that central column up high to give you the height, because um, it makes it more unstable, makes your camera more prone to wobbling. And so you really need a tripod with uh, longer legs to suit you. So you just have that central column just for a slight adjustment, but nothing more than that. On these blue bands are just what I use to hold an umbrella when it's raining. Tranquil place this, but uh, just by the railway track. So before I switched over to using ball heads almost exclusively, I did used to use the very popular Manfrotto 410 gear head. It's a fantastic tripod head with really precise movements, which you can unlock to move more quickly or lock to do the very small movements. It was ideal for using with my Canon system, but I don't necessarily need this so much um, for my mirrorless. I could still use it, it's still a great one to use, but I haven't used it for a while, but I still keep it in case I want to revert back to it. I've actually had this one converted, so it uses the Arca Swiss plates again, uh, rather than the Manfrotto uh, quick release plates. But this um, replacement plate, which is by Henna Photo, actually adapts the head so that the, tri the camera sits over the middle of the tripod. This is the only thing with this geared head, so it sets the camera off centre, which is not ideal for doing panoramics. So this has got an extra plate that takes the camera over the centre of the tripod so you can do perfect panoramics with this. So it adds weight to it, but it's a, a great addition to this uh, really good tripod head. Underneath I have a levelling plate uh, for doing the panoramics, and this is the Manfrotto 438 model. Again, quite heavy, adds real weight to the uh, tripod, but that's all good news when you're using it in the landscape, apart from carrying it, but it makes a great system of tripod, head and levelling plate. But in more recent years, I've gone for a ball head just to keep it more compact. This is also because um, I've been using the mirrorless system of the Olympus, so a stronger head isn't necessarily as important as it was when I was using my Canon gear. That said, this is still very, very strong and would support the Canon gear and anything else that you put on top of it. So this is the Arca Swiss Monobull Z1. Really solid uh, ball head and it's got the Arca Swiss plate system which I use on all my tripods and cameras now. Underneath the head I have a levelling base. This is a Sunway Photo DYH66i. allows me to level the head and get it um, perfectly um, corrected for doing panoramics which is essential and then you can just uh, fine-tune that with the top of the head but it's essential to have underneath the tripod head and between the legs and the head leveled to do panoramic so that's why I have one of those. Uh, so yeah I've been using these for many years it's trusty reliable not too expensive and it's been my go-to tripod for many years. Now the only trouble with this tripod I would like is that you can't get spikes for it or the ones you can 
are really small. They're not like the ones on the Gitzo tripod, a couple of inches. So that's the only thing I don't like because when you're shooting on certain landscapes um, where it's got soft ground, um, perhaps in the heather, um, you really need somewhere you can put the spikes into, but this hasn't got to the ability to have spikes. So, so if there was one negative about it, it would be that not having those ability to put spikes on them. But other than that, it's a fantastic tripod. So next up is my slightly lighter tripod, again Manfrotto, and this is the Manfrotto 190 XB. Again, the XB meaning it's got the standard central column, you can't put it horizontal at the top of the tripod. So this is a lighter version of the bigger 055, and so this is uh, more suitable when I want to carry it for longer distances, or I often use it in the urban landscape when I'm carrying it around all day, but I need a good sturdy tripod. So. This isn't quite as tall as the 055, I have to allow for that, not getting the full height. But this one I combine with a Manfrotto head, this is the 498 RC4, but this has been converted to also take Arca Swiss plates rather than the Manfrotto ones. Um, this is a fantastic tripod head, again a ball head, um, it's a two lever one, so you've got the uh, one for the moving the baller head around and the other one for doing the panning and it's also got a tension lever so it's quite inexpensive this one but it is solid for the price the only disadvantage of this actual head is this lever here for the panning because if you just have it undone that nut will come right out there's no stopper on it to stop it coming out and I've almost lost it before so that's a slight design fault but if you remember to keep that nice and tight then you're no problem with that so this has all the advantages of the 055, the same sort of clip release. Um, it makes a really good first tripod, um, a little bit lighter if you don't want to carry a heavier tripod around. Still very sturdy. And again, I've had this one for years. Um, great for when I'm going shooting gardens, perhaps. Um, so I want a nice sturdy tripod, but don't need the full weight of the uh, larger Manfrotto. Um, I have, a, again, the levelling base, but this is the Manfrotto own make one. So you unlock it from the bottom of the uh, central column here, is a replacement central column, and you can level out the head for doing panoramic. So different system, but an integrated one for this tripod. So as I say, it's a, a great first tripod, lighter to carry around than the bigger Manfrotto when you don't need that weight. Uh, the only thing is, of course, again, is that it's a little bit lower. So if you're my height, six foot two, it can be a little bit low. So that central column does come up, but I try not to do that too much. So I'm restricted to the height. So not perfect, and I just have to allow for it being that little bit shorter than the 055. So my third choice tripod is a lighter, portable, foldable tripod, ideal for the urban landscape. It's also ideal for mirrorless cameras being a much lighter model not as heavy as the other two Manfrotto, so you probably get away with having a digital SLR on it, but I think it's more suited to uh, mirrorless cameras and that lighter setup. So this is the Mifoto C13050. I say it's a carbon fiber model, my only carbon fiber tripod. Um, I think this is more acceptable carbon fiber for the urban environment where, you're, well, I am carrying it around all day, and so that's where I. I think it's more suited and you won't get so much wind and disturbance to the tripod in the urban environment so it's a you can go with that carbon fiber i feel so this is a four section leg tripod that actually folds in half the other way to keep it really compact you unlock the lockings at the top and it will fold over to make it even more compact put the central column up and it lows down to just that size of course this one has got the twist locks which I don't necessarily prefer as as much but it keeps it more compact having these twist locks again easy to just chuck in a rucksack on my back because it is a foldable and more compact model the height is okay about the same size as the 190 the Manfrotto not ideal for me full height but enough so I can do my shooting I often use the uh, the LCD screen the tip up LCD screen on the Olympus so I can see without having to keep bending down to take my shot. So that works quite well. Well, again, it's another tripod with a bull head on it. This is the one that came with it, the Mifoto Q1. Arca Swiss plate, but I have converted it. So it's got uh, another Sunway Photo 
DDH-02i uh, panning plate on top so I can level the head with the ball and, and then use the top to pan the camera so it's level for doing panoramics. That means you don't have to have a, a levelling base underneath so it's a different way of working with that system. It has got a central column that will come up to give it more full height but again I try not to do that. I try to keep that as low as possible and just work with it that way but it is a very solid tripod, a really dependable tripod. Um, I did try the Manfrotto version which is the B3 but I didn't quite like that so much so I went for this uh, Mi Photo and it's been a, a great tripod for the urban environment. Well those are my three tripods that I use but what am I filming this video on then? Well I've swapped over and the one I was filming on is this one. This is my first tripod, the one I was using before the Manfrotto system and it's the Bembo Mark I. A really versatile tripod, really sturdy, quite heavy but ideal for holding the medium format cameras that I was using at the time. The unique feature of this tripod, which was a bit of a pain sometimes, was the single release handle. You undid this and all the legs unlocked, as well as the central column, which means you could move them independently, but trying to sort it out into a tripod was a bit like juggling with a set of bagpipes. The head I used with this tripod was a Manfrotto one. This is a three-way head, and this is the 329RC4. So a great combination of tripod and head. Um, very heavy, heavier than I carry nowadays, but it served its purpose and I've still got it. But there you go, that's the different tripods I use for my photography, a different one for a different situation. Now if you want more advice on different tripods to buy, which one's best for you, I actually do a Technique e-guide as part of my E6 subscription and you can find that on my website. Anyway, thanks for watching, give the video a like and I'll see you on the next one.